Hi, I've been using Sony Vegas Platinum for editing my videos for a long time but about a month ago I had to shoot some video in a Canon XF300. Um, this is obviously a professional broadcast camera and I discovered that it generated files with an extension MXF. Now fortunately Sony Vegas won't read these files. There are some programs that claim to be able to convert the files but I found that after I paid for the software and converted them the quality wasn't good enough. So I looked around for a program that was under £100 that I could edit these files on and I found Magix Movie Editor Pro MX Plus version 18 which reads the files straight into the program and I'm just going to show you how you can use this program and a few tips because it took me a bit of time after using Sony Vegas to get used to this program. So the first thing is obviously you can drag and drop your MXF files straight into the program. Now the other thing I would say to you is that don't make big programs. Uh, this version is apparently three times faster than the last version. I am using a laptop uh, with a core i7 and 6 gig of RAM and if you try and edit a long video it will take you forever so try and cut it down into chapters or small sections because that works a lot better. Now having loaded in the first piece of video the first thing you need to know is that the priority is different from the way it works in Sony Vegas. So for example if I want to drag this piece of video in it will now be the priority video so when I go along in Vegas the top one stays the priority in this it changes to the bottom one so you need to know that track 3 has priority over track 1 um, this took me a bit of time to work out but um, obviously that's how it works so that's great the other thing that I struggled with first was I'm obviously used to highlighting a section and deleting it you can't do that with this program you have to use the uh, cutting tool so if you select somewhere where you want to cut, you select the razor blade, you move along, select the razor blade and you can chop out a section of the program. So this works well. Now another thing that I struggled with at the beginning was um, butting things up to each other. There's an option here, if you right click on it, you can say cut no fade and that joins them together. They're not merged but they are joined together so that you know there's no gaps between them which works really well. The next thing that I discovered was that you cannot move these tracks around. Um, once track one's there it's there so what you have to do you have to minimize the tracks and drag and drop them to a lower track. You can't do it on the end here which again is a bit of a frustration um, but it does work when you know how to do it. It's just a question of getting used to it. Some of the things that I really like about this program is the audio, audio cleaning. For example, if I go in here, you have got all sorts of options to be able to clean up this audio. D-clip, de-noise, de-hiss. You've got a full graphics equalizer. Well, I didn't have that on my version of Sony Platinum, but um, this is really in here and it's really good. Another frustration is that you can't save uh, a setting in the equalizer. Well, I haven't found a way to anyway. Uh, you can apply it to all tracks with this, but you can't save this setting and then apply it to different tracks. So, again, a slightly frustrating point, but, you know, it has some really great features in this program. The other thing that you need to get used to um, in Sony Vegas I'm used to be able to click anywhere and the um, file pointer will go there you can't do that in this program you can run the program by using the space bar and stop it again with the space bar but if you want to move up to this point you have to be on the top bar here which will let you move up there um, again it's a bit frustrating that you have to stop it playing before you can move to a new point 
Um, I wish there was a wish list because I would like to uh, participate in some ideas um, on the program because I think other than that it's really brilliant. The other thing is I couldn't find a way to keep fading in and out this video so what you have to do is you have to chop it down and then use these fade options like this and then just fade little sections. Um, again in Sony Vegas you can change the um, opacity and the density of the video along the line but here you have to do it section by section by using this pointer to move it up and down. Another thing that frustrated me a bit when I first started to use this program was it goes to the um, film menu all the time and I suddenly realised that if I turn off the film menu you can get to the chapter menu which is much better so once you turn that off when the DVD plays it will go to this. Now when you're running the trial version you can only have this horrible yellow highlighted section when you're on a button. When you buy the full version you can change these buttons although you can't change the colours there are a few designs that you can select um, and this one's particularly nice because it has a black surround then you can use those. Um, again in Sunny Vegas you can actually design the button exactly how you want it but here there are a number of preset buttons that you have to select and by double clicking you can assign them to the, the buttons of your DVD. So now you get rid of that hor horrible yellow background and you get a black board around your buttons. So that's another useful tip as well. Another tip when you're compiling a long DVD is as I said before to make chapters. So if for example this is your chapter here you highlight this section and then export this file so export this file as a Magix video file. Then you load those into a master project and burn your DVD from there because this is much faster way of doing it and um, it saved me hours. I first tried to edit a 40 minute wedding video in here and it's just impossible. Um, whereas if you break it down into uh, 5 or 10 minute sections it's a lot easier.